What's up guys, it's Gizmo Mac, and today's video is going to be completely different than any other video that we've done before on the channel because today's video is about the recent JP update 4.10.0. So this was a new JP update and JP doesn't release updates very often, but this update was meant to make it easier to do a lot of different things in the game. Um, for JP players, so I know that a lot of my subscribers play JP, I have a JP account, so I thought I might go through what the update actually went through because the update was actually pretty cool, um, honestly, so, um, Jack Shaw, the pick is over here, if you can enlarge that on the screen so everybody can see what we're reading, um, it says, so they improved the release of latent potential route, basically, so now you can reverse a character's uh, latent potential route by releasing the potential screen, so meaning, I think that they mean that you can do that all from the same screen instead of you having to, um, go all the way to the other screen and then go all the way back to hidden potential you can actually reverse a character within the hidden potential screen which is going to be so much quicker and so much easier because like it was so annoying to have to go all the way out go to reverse reverse again if you're doing an lr and then go all the way back to hidden potential so those being in the same screen is going to be really cool um also they did a thing where they improved the support item system um so now with the awakening metal system when you go to awaken a unit all of the metals are already pre-tapped any metal that you have is already going to be selected, so you don't even have to go through tap metals, you just hit awaken now. Which I think, once again, pretty cool. Like, you think they would have added this a while back. They didn't, and I don't know why they didn't, but at the same time, like, it's still a very cool update to have because it makes playing the game just a little bit easier for everybody. It makes things a lot easier for everybody. It honestly just feels a lot smoother as an update as a whole. Um, and it seems like they're doing a lot of slice of life stuff to make the game easier to play for people, which is what we wanted, right? That's what was what we needed, right? They improved the support item system. Um, it's not possible to directly remove a support item by tapping the, uh, the set support item on the screen. So instead of having to go and tap it on the actual top screen, you can now tap it on your select bar at the bottom and it'll go away. Or you can tap it again and it'll show up. Which, once again, is pretty damn cool considering that before you had to go through and all the scrolling, find the item, click it to undo it, and there's not even a room of all button, you know? So, small updates, but good things, right? Small updates, but good things, right? Um, sorry. Um, four was improve, uh, improvement of training place. The setting of training place has been inherited, and the training place that was used last time during battle will be selected. Um, so, meaning, when you, when you basically select a training area let's say you select 150 gravity um gravity chamber for your training area for the you know the xp like triple xp it'll select that pre-selected the next time for you because it knows what your preferences are personally i feel like this is great if you're grinding up an lr and you're going to keep selecting the hit the um, 150 uh times gravity chamber I kind of miss it being the other way though, because sometimes you're just training up fodder units and you don't necessarily need to use 150 gravity um, times gravity chamber. Um, and I feel like that can be a real waste, especially considering how valuable those are. Um, still a good update, I guess, um, or in that specific part of it, still a good update, um, but it definitely feels like that may have not been the most necessary thing. Um, I mean, I, I guess. You can also now go look at uh, the information for a battle from this page right here, if you guys are looking at the bottom. Um, when you have your final team lined up, you can actually go look at the info for a battle instead of going all the way back to the actual events uh, first page to look at info, which is pretty cool again. Um, from what I've been told um, from watching Truth's video, rainbow stars now show on the map. So if you have a rainbowed unit and it's your team leader, you will see that they are rainbowed on the uh, mini map as they move across to get to the battle. So um, that's pretty cool. There's other bug fixes and this app, uh, update went to the actual app store for JP. So um, anyone on JP, this was a really thick update. I think they really did a lot of good stuff that um, helped the game considerably because um, some of this is just really ridiculously convenient um, like I said they definitely could have done this earlier maybe like 2017 ish um, if not like you know like maybe a year ago because some of this stuff is simple I don't know why they're updating it now but I guess they realize they're getting a different volume of players um, but making this small stuff easier makes awakening units a lot less uh, agitating it makes selecting items less agitating finding info less agitating like even the um, adding in dupes in potential system is a lot less agitating with just them adding that little thing, right? It's just those small things that are making the game a lot better and just a lot easier to play. 
Um, I, these are going to be coming to global eventually. I don't know if this is something that they would, would plan to push out the global early. Like, if they make us wait four months for this on global, I'm going to be a little bit pissed um, because, unlike you know, stickers, equipment, and the five year, this should be this should have been pushed to both versions. I'm kind of pissed as a global player that this didn't go to global immediately. Um, but I mean, it's not too big of a deal that it's not on global. Um, it just would have been nice if they had taken into consideration we might like this as well. Um, other than that, nothing else major has been going on on JP. Um, you guys got uh, Goku Ghost and Goku Day uh, specials. I know you guys got 42 Dragon Stones in total. You could have gotten 50 Dragon Stones a while back on 423. Um, but this was the main thing, um, and this update is a really good update. Hopefully it comes to JP soon, or uh, global soon, but this was just an update for all the JP players. Um, but yeah, let me know you guys' thoughts about this update down in the comment section below, or if you have any Dokkan related questions for me, ask them in the comments below. Uh, but as always guys, I love these Dokkan videos. This has been Gizmo Mac, and as always, I'll see you in the other world. Goodbye guys. Oh, 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 oh,